reflection and refraction of light question number one how can we see ordinary non-luminous objects to see ordinary non-luminous objects the light need to be reflected from these objects into our eyes making them visible question number two do you need a full length mirror to see your hair and your feet at the same time does it depend on how far you stand from the mirror we don't need a full length mirror we only need a half length mirror properly positioned to see our hair and feet at the same time it does not depend on how far we stand from the mirror